You alright guys, this is Smith. Okay, today this video Top 5 ghost videos, so scary, you will weep Okay, this is second time reaction Well, generally I don't believe ghosts, but after I reacted to the Nukes 5 video I get into believe this kind of, you know, um, paranormal phenomenon or portal guys phenomenon But is it just because of ghosts? I still doubt it well, in the last video, um, some were really um, okay. staged, but some seems to be real, which was so scary, but interesting at the same time. So, how is it gonna be this time? Let's get into it. If you enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you're new here. So, let's get into it. Sound effect so scary. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The Atomic Clinic. Korean paranormal enthusiasts Paku and DJ from the YouTube channel Boro Boro live in Japan and are big fans of Japanese urban legends and ghost stories. For one of their videos, the duo sets out to investigate a known paranormal hotspot in Atami City, Shizuoka oh, yeah. Prefecture, Japan. It's the abandoned old silver villa Atami Clinic. The hospital opened its doors in the mid-1980s and served as a long-term care facility for the elderly and terminally ill. The clinic closed in 2009 and has been left empty and abandoned ever since. Oh my god, this video effect is already really scary to me because, you know, this kind of old and uh, dark, depressed uh, effect, so scary. You know what I'm saying? During its operation, many patients passed oh. away inside these walls, and some of their lost spirits are still said to roam the hallways at night. Friends Paku and DJ record as they head inside the old clinic to explore. Almost immediately, things start to get weird. Oh. Okay. Oh. I couldn't hear that. 잘못 and DJ hear a strange sound coming from somewhere nearby. They're still near the exit, so they're not particularly alarmed just yet. They head even further inside, but then things take a chilling turn. What? Wait, wait, wait. What happens? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? No, what happens? Oh my god. Why did you go there in the evening? Paku freaks out as later he explains that he felt something touch the side of his ear. Then they both hear a loud thud and make a run for it. Are you sure? Eventually, they calm down and head back inside to continue exploring. That's when Paku spots something downright terrifying. No, don't do that. Why are you acting like that? So scares me. Paku first freezes up, then he takes a Polaroid photo, and then just makes a run for it. Back in the car, he shows his friend what he saw and captured on camera. No way. Oh my god. What was that? Did you see it? No, I didn't see anything. A small dark figure can be seen at the edge of one of the hospital what? beds. Within only a split second, the dark figure just disappears. 
Haku takes a Polaroid Gosh. photo, but nothing can be seen in the picture. So, did the friends capture the spirit of a patient who passed away inside the Atami clinic years no ago? Let me know what you think. No way. No, I think it was just a rabbit hiding there and it escaped, I believe. And one thing I'm just wondering, why Korean go to the scare, scary place in Japan? Is it because there are lots of scary places in Japan? If so, I live in a fantastic country. Oh, God. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube oh, channel, so Boro Boro. Creepy. Oh, Meanwhile, on TikTok. More than 150 years old, the Anson Call House is known oh, for its so ghost stories. A family that lived house. here for close to 20 years says there's no question this place was haunted. On Halloween night, Paranormal Investigation Team Paranosis hosts a live event on their TikTok page as they investigate the allegedly haunted Anson Call that House in Bountiful, so... Utah. The historic home was built in 1859 and was the home Creepy of Mormon house. pioneer Anson Call and his five wives. It is said that Anson was a cruel man and would lock his wives in the basement if they did not obey him. He eventually passed away inside the home. 84 years later, it is said that Ted Bundy kidnapped and held a woman in the Anson Call home before taking her life. Oh dear. Lead investigator Bennett Rain and her team are broadcasting live outside the house when suddenly they all see something absolutely terrifying. What? What? There's like a knock on the sound of like a knock on a window or something. I'm done. I can't. Trying to draw us. What? What's up? Freaking, that's where it was trying oh, to draw. What? Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it is the freaking ceiling. Oh my God. No way. No way. No, that's stage. Heard someone talking. There's that's some girls out in the front. That's okay. That's the freaking ceiling. Freaking. That was so obvious. That's edited. I don't know. Someone just shaking the ladder. What? There was a thing like smashing up against the glass. Oh my god. Uh, was that no. in the front? Was that the front of the freaking house? Is there someone there? Inside. What was that? The window. It's coming from inside. It hit the. What's this noise? Someone's banging. This has been happening the whole time. That's been happening the whole time. Yeah. Who's been banging on the window and the door? There's definitely the human inside. Okay, I think I'm done. I need to get. Yeah, you should escape. What the hell? Is that gonna break the. <laughs> I don't know. Is that coming from upstairs or downstairs? What's going on? Whoa. What the hell? Okay. I think. Okay, that's the freaking. I'm done. Okay. You're freaking go out. You're gonna go in? Yeah, let's go in. Why would you <laughs> go in when the freaking house is falling apart? I don't believe you just said that. That's so unreasonable decision. The remains of a bed frame fly up yeah, towards no the ceiling. The shocked investigators quickly head inside to investigate. This is where, I think this is where the banging was coming from. This is for sure where, look. Look at that. No. That's what I saw flying around. I saw that in the window. Yeah, it was like clear up by the ceiling. That wasn't loud there. Now this terrifying event was all captured live and fans of the Paranosis team shared the recordings of the investigation on TikTok. What makes the footage even more compelling is that paranormal fan Ashley came along on the investigation and she too captured chilling footage of the Anson Call home. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, no, someone's living inside without any There's permission. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see stuff a lot? Like Not anything? really, I just hear things in my bedroom. Oh, that's crazy. Nah, no, 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 no. If I live, like, my bedroom's like right on this side, on this side right here. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, <gasps> I think homeless oh living there. God. Yeah, oh we're over. just scaring yeah, us. Yeah, the neighbor came over and was like, I know. For the there joking. people in there. They're like, someone's knocking on our, and I was like, no, like, I think it might be the vibration from this. The kid that came up to us, he lives next door, and he was saying that um, he never sees anything, but he hears stuff all the time, and his window to his bedroom was oh. right next to the house and he said he hears stuff all the time that's why he came out running but they did say the neighbors on the right hand side like the opposite side of him they always see women walking around upstairs where a lot of that banging no is happening way. so no thanks now with so many witnesses <laughs> to these paranormal events Funny. it makes you wonder whether the ants and call home might be truly haunted and someone or something from the other side was banging on the doors and windows in an attempt to get out. But as always, I leave that to you to decide. No, this one's something the people was doing. The noise was so clear and the furniture flying out it really clearly. This is not paranormal or portaguese phenomenon. This is a something people was doing, don't you think so? I don't believe this totally, but so freaking. Casey Dostert's TikTok page is completely devoted to sharing videos of his fishing and hunting trips in the Michigan outdoors, which makes this next singular spooky video on his TikTok even more bizarre. Casey explains that he saw an abandoned house in the woods a few times as a child, but he had never been able to find his way back there again later in life. What? That is, until recently. It's already dark when Casey and his friend Ashton drive up to take a look at the house. It did not go well. So, uh, I want to take everybody back here. A place I knew about when I was a kid. Haven't been able to find it since. But let me tell you, it's an eerie place. I got to show everybody this. Now that I found it again, brought my buddy Ashton with me. Thank you for that. You're so welcome. It's a place. <laughs> but, uh, moon. I get a bad feeling every time I come in here. Why? Why'd you have to come here on a full moon night? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good man. Uh, Coincidence. So we should be coming up on it here pretty quickly. Oh yeah, there it oh. is. Look at that. I'm telling you, some bad stuff happened back here. So bizarre. The house building up here in the middle of nowhere, in the forest. Why? What's the purpose? All right. Casey. I got to take Casey. you and show you this place. Casey. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Why is the tire swing moving in this tree? Tire. Casey. No. <laughs> probably the wind. Yeah, probably. You just drive by it. I really don't want to, dude. This is this is a eerie place, man. There's some bad stuff happened back here in the '70s. Yeah. Some bad juju here. Uh, what? Yeah. Hey, hold on, Casey. Go back. Go back. What happened? Huh. There was somebody standing in that window. No. I see something in no the way. window, Casey. I didn't really? see anything. Give me that light. All right. No, don't light hey, it up. Over here, actually on the side. There should be a... Should be what? Should be animal. No, not... Go clear? Mattress in here? That's so 
Ooh. Dude, there's somebody standing right here, or a it's shadow or something place. standing. Dude, is that blood on that mattress? All right, come on. Well, want to check it out? No. Why do? Why do you want to check inside? Go first, bro. Someone can be seen standing in the so window of the creepy scary. old house. When they approach the building, a door slams shut oh, and the friends no just way. get out of there. Casey explains that some quote bad stuff happened in the house no, in the that 1970s. Wasn't human. That wasn't but people. he doesn't elaborate on the story. So just what did the guys catch on camera? Oh, this is edited, is it right? real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Oh, it isn't. You decide. I think some people did that, but anyway, that was so scary. I was I was scared a lot. Sorry about that. The Lost Children. Paranormal investigators Kevin and Fabio from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto are back on another exploration at an allegedly haunted location in Mexico. This time they find themselves at an abandoned Ooh, orphanage so with a very dark place. and tragic past. Long ago, the priest and founder of the orphanage was accused of horribly abusing the children in his care. The priest was forced to leave and was never seen again. No one knows exactly what happened to the children. The large decaying structure is now the home of a family of friendly stray dogs. Before they begin their investigation, Kevin and Fabio give food and water to the cute pups and then the dogs seem to follow them around as they explore. As the guys look through the rooms on the ground floor, Kevin and Fabio hear something unnerving. The two investigators are shook as they hear an unexpected childlike voice call out from somewhere in the darkness. Kevin and Fabio have no idea where the sound could have come from and their anxiety begins to grow. As they continue searching through the creepy dark orphanage, they find a room on the second floor that immediately spikes their EMF meter. A walkie-talkie that Kevin has brought along suddenly picks up a bizarre, distorted signal. Spoiler is so bizarre. No yeah, I was here. Someone breathing. Keep people. Keep people. Without warning, Fabio suddenly hears a breath coming from right behind him. No mames. Are you sure? No, give me a break. No oh, yeah, yeah, Keep yeah, people. After the incredibly disturbing sounds, the two investigators decide to leave a static camera behind as they continue to explore yeah, the building. This is not all right. You a little while leave. later, the camera records something chilling. Ah!
Vamos com não. Creepy childlike breathing can be heard very close to the static camera on the second floor. That's when Kevin and Fabio's radio begins to act up once again and they hear a loud, audible groan. But that's not all that they captured that night. Because, did you see it? No. I don't want to see it. Oh yeah, 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 I can see some figure. Child, child figure. The small shadow-like figure of a child can be seen standing on the ground floor, seeming to watch them from the shadows. Oh, the two investigators have so no idea creepy. that they're being watched, but start to get creeped out enough that they decide to leave. Yeah, they grab their equipment and get out of there. So could it be that Kevin and Fabio captured the sad trap souls of the children of the oh. orphanage? Or could this be something else? Something dark and sinister? Let me know what you think. Ghost? You can watch this entire two-part investigation with English subtitles over on the YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. Viewer videos. This next video was sent in by Danish Nukes Top 5 viewer Daniel Hertz. In the video, his father Henrik explains how 40 years ago, his own father was recording a video on 8mm film during a fun family outing after they hiked into a deserted area deep in the woods of Denmark. The clip from a film som min far har optaget, da vi var for 40 år siden, da vi var ude på tur i skoven. Later, when the family watches their 8mm home movie back, they spot something that they simply can't explain. Something downright creepy. What? Really? Really? A strange woman can be seen standing in the distance, simply watching the family as they walk through the woods. It's so clear. And Kurt says that this woman yeah, was not there at the confirm. time of the recording. This we see here, so plötsligt så så står der en en skikkelse inne i lidt inne i skoven. Og den person var der ikke da vi gik tur. Så spørgsmålet er, hvordan er den dukket op? Er det et spøgelse? So just who or what is this? Let me know what you think. My question is why that figure was so grey? For me it looked like some picture, another picture applied to this video because the, you know, the picture quality uh, was slightly different. So I still don't believe this is ghost but could be people uh, who were killed in this place uh, became ghost and uh, appeared in this real world and looking at good family uh you know thinking like oh they're so seems to be happy i'm so envy them this video was sent in to me by nukes top five viewer alexia in her oh, email she says that early one morning she and her husband were away at work and no one else was home but their cctv camera captured something very strange happening to their cat kyo Oh! Why? What happened? Now first off, let me Ooh. make it clear that little Kyo was fine and not hurt. But it almost looks as if something we can't see throws poor Kyo into the air and he falls against the kitchen chair. No, so someone threw the cat. Don't throw the cat. This could be animal abuse. Don't do that. When slowed down, it becomes clear that there's no way that the cat could have managed to leap into the air like this, belly up and back feet first. So could it be that something paranormal attacked Porkyo? Let me know what you think about this creepy footage down in the yeah. comments. Yeah, all things considered, yeah, this could be impossible that you know, some people uh, threw the cat away. Then who did that? Ghost? Oh, I kidding me. Mr. Spouter. Four years ago, a YouTube user calling himself Mr. Spouter posted two very strange videos to his YouTube channel before simply disappearing from YouTube. Mr. Spouter claimed that years ago some sort of paranormal presence had attached itself to him and would follow him as he moved from home to home. 
In the following footage, Mr. Spouter says that he was finally able to capture the activity on camera. Right, banging again. Sorry, it reminds me of all paranormal activity. It's like something on the stairs. You can't hear it though, I can't. Yeah. It's weird. It's always opening. It's not next door. It's like... The f What? What did you say? What the f***? There might be pipes in fly forward. Oh, there's someone's standing. Yeah. Did you see that? So scares me. Something banging then. Something went banging. I'm talking to myself. <coughs> something was just banging. Right. I know how you feel. Dusty as f. You're talking to yourself when you were scared, right? Yeah, I know how Oh, this one's so scary. What the f***? 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 something there. What the f***? What? Faking myself out, man. Freaking us. Get out. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> what the f was that? <laughs> What's that? What the f Something on there. Ooh! What the f- What the fuck? <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. In the room right next to the staircase, a small dark figure can be seen just standing there. But YouTube user Mr. Spouter doesn't even seem to notice. When he films the staircase again later, the unexplained apparition seems to have disappeared. Already freaked out, Mr. Spouter hears a strange sound coming from his wardrobe closet. Yes, when he turns his camera to film, he is shocked when a plastic bag on top of the wardrobe Ooh. suddenly moves on its own. Now, there is no way to know what happens oh, wow. next. Mr. Spouter announced that he had moved out of the house, yeah. but he has never returned to Obviously. his YouTube channel to give any further updates. For now, the creepy footage remains a mystery. This one was paranormal activity you can release as a film. Oh, that was much more scary than last video, especially the last one. I was so scared, much more scared, because, you know, that was a thing happened in your house, which makes me think like, you know, it could be happening in my house as well, so that's why it's more scaring. Imagine if it happens in your house, but I think some people have experience to hear, you know, some noise or, you know, some stuff suddenly uh, moving, started to moving in your house. Yeah, for me too, I have that such experience sometimes, um, but generally I, I believe that because of, you know, natural phenomenon, you know, by like gravity or, you know, the wind, there's a reason, but thinking that, you know, if it, this is because of the, you know, paranormal phenomenon, oh, I'm starting to, I'm getting so scared, I'm getting so scared, I can't sleep tonight. 
Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to like button and subscribe, please. So, my